Okay, so as promised, we need to still make the wheelbarrow handles. Now, you can make them any thickness you want, but there, well, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can go to one of the big box stores and buy pre-made wheelbarrow handles. That's a great way to go. They're pretty cheap. You can get a set for like $30. Um, but if you're wanting some to match the exact stain or, or, or style of your scope, it's best to just make them yourself out of the same stock that you use to make the rest of the scope. So what I do for 20 inch and under scopes, these don't have to be extremely heavy duty. In fact, the heavier you make the wheelbarrow handles, the heavier everything else is. So why not make them as light as possible and still be able to get the job done. So I'm gonna take half inch stock, 60 inches long, um, and I'm going to cut it into two and a half inch uh, widths. And then, at the end of tonight, I will glue a pair, two pairs of those up. And that'll make approximately just under one inch thick wheelbar handles, which works out real well. After they dry, we'll take them over to the bandsaw and I'll show you how I shape them. So for now, I've got my table saw fit set to two and a half. I'm going to put on my safety glasses. And I want to make sure I have my push stick for extra safety. Start up the table saw and get to cutting. Okay, so there we have it. So what I will do is I will look at the prettiest figure on each side and I'll end up mating these back together as close as possible to keep them even because the less work I have to do sanding them down and getting them perfectly flush, the better. So I don't think I'll film the gluing them up. You know, I'm going to glue up two pairs. That's it. And then after they dry tomorrow, we will... Uh, We'll shape them, we'll get them cut. And we're getting awful close to the finishing part, but darn, it's getting cold in here today, and I think I'm gonna have to get the heater out after all. So uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I will see you next time. Okay, so we are back to the wheelbarrow handles. It's been overnight, I've glued these up. Now, if you made any errors in lining them up after you glued them up, go ahead and sand it down so it's smooth and flat on both sides. In fact, if you want to sand one side smooth and then hit it on the other, the table saw and trim about a sixteenth of an inch off the other side, that would work also. What I do from here is I typically will grab a tape measure and pick a side that's going to be my, my handle, and then the other side obviously will have the wheel, and then of course the, there's going to be two bolts in the middle with hand screws that actually attach to the telescope rocker box, which we have right here. So I'll take a tape measure from the end of what again is going to be my handle, and I'll go 10 inches, take a pencil and just put a check there, do the same thing on the other one, and now what I'm going to do is I like to leave just a little bit at the end, um, typically about an inch. So I'm going to go one inch from the end and put another mark there. So I've got about nine inches between my marks. I'm going to take my uh, trusty square here and I'm going to set it for about a half an inch. So I've got half an inch and then I'm going to place it at the end and I just kind of use my hip as a stop and I'm going to scribe a line from one of my marks down to the other mark. In fact, since we know it's a half inch, I'll go ahead and extend that mark up this half inch. All right, so let's scribe that line. 
one, and there's two. Okay, so I'll take it a little closer so you can see. You know, we just made a little square here. So that's actually going to be stock that I remove. That's going to be where I grip my hands. Otherwise, it's really too big to really grip it comfortably. So we're going to remove that, and that's just leaving a little left so our hands don't slide off when we're pushing the telescope. That looks kind of sharp, but we need to round that off. So to round it off, we need to find something round in the shop. Um, let's see. Here we go. Anything that gives you a round edge. And I'm going to take this little round, or you can take a quarter, anything round, and I'm going to place it in between each check, right, like that. And then I'm going to scribe a line there. Do it on front and back. Okay. So I'll bring this a little closer so you can see the lines. So there, and now I'll just erase the uh, square part and where I made that curve, that's what I'm going to take to the bandsaw. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these two wheelbar handle handles cut on the bandsaw here. That is somewhat how they're going to look. I will take it over to the oscillating sander, clean it up a little bit. If you don't have one of those, just use a uh, orbital sander or even just a block sander with your hand. Just clean it up, round this off, and uh, the next video you see, we'll be putting the holes for the wheel, the two hand knobs, and then also the uh, two holes for the rocker box to accept the two hand knobs. And we'll round off the edges, and that'll be it. Okay, so I have shaped up the wheelbarrow handles, rounded the fronts here, as you can see, and then I went over to the oscillating sander and I rounded these real nice, sanded them smooth, then of course rounded those edges. Now we have to make the holes for both the front wheels and the two hand knobs that are going to attach to the rocker box. Now what we do with the front wheels I'm just using a wheel like this. This is a 8-inch uh, wheel. You can get these similar to these at Harbor Freight, Lowe's, a number of places. I get mine um, online. These are a little bit nicer because you can put oil in them and uh, grease rather, and they, they last a little longer. But uh, you can get some pretty inexpensive wheels that will work really, really well um, with a telescope. So what I do here is, since I'm using, this wheel uses a 5 8 bolt to... Uh, as the hub for the wheel. So I take my tape or my tri-square here and I set it for one and a half inches and I go from the end, I'll make a mark at one and a half inch on both of these. And now we have to identify the middle depending on how thick you ultimately made these. Like I said, I end up shaving mine down so I've got equal thickness. And so I am just over two and a quarter. So we'll go a half of that. So just over one and an eighth. Okay, so that's my mark. I'm going to take a center punch, punch them, and now I won't even bother filming. I'm going to go over to the drill press, use a 5 8 inch um, uh, drill bit. I'm going to drill a hole through there, and then the next video we'll go ahead and make the uh, side holes, or the holes for the hand screws.